right? Once again, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakhakodash. That will let us say apostles and the elders of great millstone. To all the Akiams worldwide, I want to say Shalom and be unto you. This is the word from the GMSRO.com. Just bring out a quick video to the spirits of the Most High Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. My topic today is Carnival is worshipping the Greek god Bacchus. And basically, um, in our Caribbean country, Trinidad and Tobago, every year they usually have a carnival celebration that we know is well already how they just like folly. They say what derived from slaves after emancipation, they start, to, they start to celebrate that emancipation and use it as a carnival. But you know, Esau is a cunning man, like to use certain things to deceive the people of the most high harbor shaming shy as well who are the negroes latinos and native um when you do a little quick history on carnival um in our community in trying to be good they say carnival is a day for reveling for bacchanal but when you look up the etymology of bacchanal they say bacchanal goes back to bacchus who is more or less um they say he was the god of wine and he was also the god of revelry, revelry and reveling and you know drunkenness and all these things so really and truly all these terms of bacchanal and stuff for carnival it just goes back to worshiping this greek god bacchus and again they use the term around carnival where they have these red devils and these men painting their face black or using oil to be black and they call themselves jab jab and that term Jab Jab again goes back to Diablo, which goes back to the devil. Again, these customs are not customs, nothing to do with the Mosai Harbor Shemeshai, and it have nothing to do with Israel. These are wicked days. These are wicked customs, and Israel shouldn't be indulging themselves in these type of customs, but staying far away from these customs. These are not no customs of the Mosai Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Um, when you go back to Exodus chapter 32 and 15, there's only one time really and truly in the Bible um, that talk about any type of revelry or anything pertaining to that sort. And that goes back to Aaron. Um, I'll just read you. Uh, when Aaron, um, the people and Moses more or less went up to get the tabernacle of the Ten Commandments of the Mosai. And the people came to Aaron and they asked him for a god. And more or less, Aaron told them to break off the goals around their earrings and whatever so forth. And he molded a calf for them, and then they were worshipping this god. And this is the extent that he was worshipping this god. I started with Exodus chapter 32 and verse 15. And Moses turned and went down from the mount, and the two tables of the testament were were in his hand. The tables were written on both their sides. On the one side, on the other side, they were, were they written, and the tables were the work of Yahweh, and the writing was the writing of Yahweh power, graven on to, upon the tablets. And when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said unto Moses, "There is a noise of war in the camp." So you could just imagine that kind of noise they were uh, more or less putting or sending off from that camp. And he said, it's not the voice of them that shout for mastery, neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome, but the noise of them that sing do I hear. And it came to pass, as soon as he came nigh unto the camp, that he saw the calf and the dancing, and Moses' anger waxed hot, and he cast the tablets out of his hand and broke them beneath the mount. And he took the calf, which was which they had made and burn it in fire and ground to powder and straw and straw it upon the water and make the children of Israel to drink it. So more or less um so any time when Israel were in this kind of revelry spirit, that was when they were worshipping that calf. And again, you people are going back and worshipping Bacchus. I'm not saying do with the Mosai, how about Shemi Shai? That's worshipping the devil and Bacchus, more or less, that goes back to that is the custom that you people are worshiping. That's nothing to do with the Mosai. Uh, we go to Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3 to 4. 
The ox knows its owner and his ass his master's crib, but Israel do not know my people do not consider. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord Yahweh Hashem and Shai. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they have gone away backwards. Yeah, you people, people just bogged out. I mean, two thirds of Israel are going to be cut off and destroyed. Um, but Israel, hey, Israel is naturally wicked. You are a bunch of wicked people. You no, know, all the other nations know who they are. You don't even know who the Mosai Yahweh Shemesha is. You worship all different sorts of God. But we then trade the most I put it on two things that you had to do that so prophecy can be fulfilled. But any sort of wickedness that is have is well up in it. Any sort of wickedness to ask as well to do anything righteous. It seems like it's a hard task that you ask them to do. But to do wickedness there in it. Because Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. Warn to them that call evil good, and good evil that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Yeah, because after these two days of reveling and carnivaling, and, and all sorts of fornication and worshipping the devil, you people then go and put ashes on your forehead and say that you'll be cleansed of your sin. You people wicked, that is wickedness. I mean, there are some sin that you do ignorantly, I could understand that, but you people naturally do not go in and do wickedness and then go in the other day and repent of your sins. Hey, you people are wicked. I see height of wickedness. The most I have a shame I don't deal with them sort of wickedness. You will destroy you people for that. Turn back from your wicked ways and come back to the most I have a shame and save the one and only true power. Carnival is nothing to do with the Mosai. There's nothing righteous. There's nothing righteous about Carnival. If you look at all these songs, basically singing around Carnival, it's all about worshipping the, the, the devil and not the Mosai, Yahweh, Shem, Shai. It's all about some sort of fornication, taking out a man, girl. You know, all this sort of foolishness. I'm Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are selfish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah, you are you wise to, to, to go wind up. I mean, at some point, I don't know, at one point I pass through these things. They give all places to most I have, Hashem and Shai. Um, because even though I pass through these things once, it was never within my spirit to stay in it. I just went to really see how it is. But it wasn't nothing that take my spirit. It's it, it just a whole set of wickedness and things that's been happening in these fets and carnival. It's nothing to do with righteousness. But to, to come back to the Mosai and serve him in spirit and in truth and follow the laws as the commandments, that's hard for you people to do. When you see any prophets that the Mosai have a Shemesh is on the highways and the byways and preaching, it's hard for you to sit down and listen. But it's easy for you to listen to a whole pack of crap and a whole pack of people singing a whole set of nonsense. Nothing to do with profiting you. Nothing to do with the Lord's and the commandments of the Most High. But to do wicked you with that. All you're willing to do is just follow all the customs of all these wicked ass people. You Colossians 2 and 8. Beware lest any man fall you through philosophy and be in deceit after the traditions of men, after the rulings of the world and not after Marxia. Yeah, a tradition of men are you following. No way in the scriptures talk about this rebellion and this bacchanal. I, I, the only time I did show you the only time in the scriptures it had that was when you was worshipping other idols and that's still going back to idol worshipping what you people are doing. The most are going to destroy you for your wickedness. I hope around carnival time, a big truck bounces down about 10 or you or something like that. For all your wickedness. I hope a couple of you get crushed from some kind of truck or something like that. Because year in, year out, I'm pretty sure you all know that this is wickedness. But who cares? Everyone wants to be up in it. 
let your portion be that. You know? And with that, I want to say, I want to give a praise to say, how about Shemi Oshai, Bashemi Kakwadash? To all the Akans worldwide, pushing the shoot. Stay strong and shallow and be unto you. It's the word. Bring out this video. She is praise of the most high. How about Shemi Oshai? Shalom.